Hello everybody, call your Swecker in Birmingham, Alabama. Hope everybody's having an awesome day. Wanted to give you a quick update on what's going on with the flood insurance program and the massive rate increase uh, that people all over the country are seeing. What has happened is Congress has passed a law that really just takes away the federal subsidies that we've had for 30 to 40 years. Many of us didn't even recognize that it was subsidized. We just thought flood insurance was cheap and that it didn't cost much. But what was really happening was the insurance carrier was being that, that covered the federal flood insurance program was being subsidized by the government to make up the final 80% of a of a premium. Those are going away w with this with this legislation that passed. In other words, if you were paying $350 to $400 like a client of ours has been paying, they've gotten their new premium, which is now $3,000 a year. Funny thing is, when the maps were redrawn uh, about a year ago, year or two ago, they, they threw in a lot of property that was nowhere even remotely considered a, a uh, area that was in a floodplain. They made me near a body of water. But it seems to me that these flood maps were not drawn, uh, in some cases, with any rhyme or reason. Just that they were close to a body of water and certainly it must flood. And in this particular case, where they went from $350 to $3,000, what we it would really take a, a epic storm of Noah's Ark proportions for it to flood. But what they found was that that these same folks who have very little chance of flooding because just a small portion of their property sits in the flood zone, they're now going to have to pay three grand a year. Hey, in this economy, it is so tough for people to, you know, afford their mortgage and everything else, much less now have to pay nearly 10 times uh, the amount that they've been paying for this flood insurance. And what the government's done is they've thrown it all at once. They're not going to let you scale it up. They're not going to say, hey, we're going to increase it by 20% a year till you get to the uh, uh, insurance where you're getting the premium paid 100% by the consumer or by the homeowner. Uh, and so in other words, they're just going cold turkey. It's like quitting smoking tomorrow. You can't, you can't ever have another cigarette. Well, people generally have a hard time quitting smoking. Same thing here. People are going to have a hard time affording this, this flood insurance coverage, and it's really going to affect our real estate market. Good thing is, a number of states, including Louisiana and some other states, have now filed suit in, in federal court to, to overturn this. So if you have any uh, property that is affected by flood insurance, be, be prepared for a huge rate increase and get with Congress. This is a, a huge issue that's affecting tons of folks. It's not, it's not one of those topics that's very sexy and if it doesn't affect us, we usually don't talk about it. But the problem is it affects so many more properties than it did four years ago because so many have been looped back in and the rules governing who has to pay flood insurance has changed as well where if any partial part of the property touches they want you to pay full freight for flood insurance so anyway it's typical government going swinging the pendulum from one direction to the other and not even thinking of the consequences that's going to happen so just want to kind of give you an update that is still a pretty serious thing where we're going to see a lot of homeowners uh, get feeling the pinch if they're in a flood zone. So if you have any questions, comments, or disagree with anything I've had to say, email me. Call your at megaagents.com. Hope you have an awesome day. Bye-bye.